This is a specimen of a lump or a nodule that has been surgically excised from within the breast. So if you look at this, so you can see it's very easily shelled out. Uh, it is extremely well circumscribed and it's got this lobulated kind of nodular shape. It is whitish in colour and it actually looks relatively firm. Let's look at several sections of the specimen and we can see the cut surface is quite whitish and this sort of implies that um, it's got a high stromal or fibrous content and here you can appreciate the lobulations. We do not see any uh, hemorrhage or any necrosis. Necrosis would be seen as paler areas um, on the cut surface. So let's take a look at the microscopy. Here, the section shows an extremely well circumscribed nodule. A lot of it is quite pink, and the pink actually corresponds to the whitish appearance on uh, the gross assessment because this is fibrous stroma. So let's take a closer look. Um, we can see that this is clearly a biphasic tumor. It has got these slit like compressed epithelial elements, and these are surrounded by a pinkish and some areas grayish stroma. Let's take a look at them one by one. The epithelial component we can see has got a bilayered uh, lining. There is this layer here of cells outside with very clear cytoplasm and then there is another layer that is inside. So these outside outer cells are the myoepithelial cells and the inner cells are luminal cells. So it's almost like an original uh, ductal structure or a lobule that is now compressed by this stroma. This is, this is benign epithelium. The stroma itself is relatively hypocellular and it is composed of these bland, uniform spindle cells um, with a fibrillary background. There is no significant hypercellularity of the stroma, no necrosis. Mitotic figures are actually not readily identified. So I'm zooming out again because I want to highlight the pattern of growth. When you see the pattern where the stroma appears to surround the compressed ductal structures, as we can see in most of the areas in this tumour, um, it is known as pericanalicular architecture. Uh, this is just a descriptive term to show you the architectural pattern. When it appears as if the stroma is sometimes within the actual compressed structures because of the way that they are curving. This is called a more intracanalicular architecture. Um, there is really no prognostic significance to this. Fibroadenomas can be composed of different percentages of both patterns. Um, but if you think about the phyllodus tuber, it usually has a predominantly intracanalicular pattern. The last feature that I want to point out to you is the extreme circumscription of this nodule. You can see here that this is the edge, which is very, very sharply demarcated. And this is the surrounding adipose or fatty stroma of the breast. There is absolutely no invasion into the breast tissue. So this is a very well circumscribed biphasic tumour composed of compressed slit-like ductal or glandular structures that are surrounded by a relatively hypocellular stroma and these features are classical for a fibroadenoma.